Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, you will be learning on how to write a test cases for ATM functionality. So you will be learning in detail. So what are the test cases you might be required to test ATM functionality. Before moving further, if you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills. So let us understand now what are the different types of test cases you can write for ATM functionality. The first test case should be the card slot. So whatever the ATM will have card slots, you should validate whether it is working as expected. The, there should not be any jam in the card slot, whether it can easily take the card in automated way. All those things you should validate as part of the first test case. The second test case is whenever you are going to insert a card into the ATM. Whenever you insert a card, you should display all the relevant information about that card details on the screen. That is a second test case. Then the third test case is whenever user enters the card, then he gets uh, all the bank details. The user selects 5000 rupees as a cash withdrawal. Now when he selects that, then cash should, the cash dispenser should give that money yeah, 5000 rupees. In case if there is no money, then you should give an error message and it should suspend the withdrawal transaction. That is one case of failure. During a withdrawal process, let's say the network get failed, then that is also the time you should roll back the operation to the original transaction and cash dispenser should also be validated for various currencies. You should validate for 100 rupees, 200 rupees, 1000 rupee, 2000 rupee notes. You should check for all the currencies whether ATM is really able to handle with the different currencies or your cash dispenser can take care of all the type of currencies. That is the third test cases you should validate. The fourth test case is, let's say when user comes inside and he puts a card and he wanted to find out what is the balance in his account and he has to take a printout. What he does is he insert the card, then he will check the balance, then he, he expect to print on the printer. That means the printer should be able to print that receipt without having any challenges. Let's say if uh, printer doesn't have paper, then appropriate error message should display it on the screen. If the printer is available and paper is available, then you should print the receipt. The fifth test case is keypad functionality. So whatever the ATM keypad functionality we have here is all the numerical numbers, then enter key, cancel key, all the keys you should validate whether it does appropriately all the operations in that ATM. The sixth is cash withdrawal transactions. You should validate various combinations of test, test cases you should write one is successful uh, transaction where I have a balance in account, I am able to get the money and let's say every bank is having a daily limit, let's say 25,000. If I try to withdraw more than 25,000, then you should throw error message and you should allow you, you should allow for you to trans transact only on the limited withdrawal. Then uh, if you try to withdraw the excess money, then you should also give an error message saying that you are withdrawing more than the daily limit. 
are more than your balance and you should also check the various operations you should perform to check whether balance is getting updated or properly or not and in case of network failure tm is going to behave everything you should write a different different test cases to validate all the cash withdrawal transactions the seventh is the network conditions whenever uh, the network is is failure or abrupt failure then how the atm functions in that situation in order to validate that you need to write various test cases then uh, eighth is incorrect pin if you enter the incorrect pin uh, after inserting a card number then you should throw an appro appropriate error message in the then the ninth test case is whenever person inserts an incorrect card such as expiry of the expired card or uh, some damages in the card then you should give a right error message the tenth is you should also validate for the timeout let's say if the network is very slow it is not able to perform the operation well within the time timeline then atm should time out with the right error message then 11th test case should validate for atm here is utilizing of various cards such as master card visa card rupee card you should try with all the cards available in the market whether atm still work works as expected that is the 11th test case the 12th test case is you should operate the atm when there is no cash when there is no cash you should operate all the atm functionalities just to see how the atm functionalities behaves when atm doesn't have money deposited in it i hope you are able to get all the 12 important test cases to be written for atm functionality hope you like this video if you like this video please click on like button and if you have visited testing shala youtube channel for the first time then do click on subscribe button and bell notification so that all our future videos related to, to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills thanks for watching this video bye for now take care